Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another Lightroom tutorial. Today, I'm going to be show you how to edit brown and teal filter on your photos. It's used widely in portrait and travel. It's a great way to make your photo look more trendy for Instagram. It's really simple to do, so anyway, let's jump right into Lightroom. Okay, now I have several photos to edit. I'm going to use this photo of Y Julius as the main picture. Check her Instagram in the link description. So the first thing first, we are going to start with basic adjustment in light. So let's bring some exposure to 0.80, it's a little bit bright in here. Bring down the contrast to negative 70 so the image looks flat. Bring the highlights down so we can get more detail in the sky and the background. And bring some shadows to give more detail in the darks as well. Bring the whites down to negative 50 and the blacks to negative 66 as well. Alright, so moving on to the tone curve. And in here, we just want to make this photo look fit. So create three point here in RGB. I'm going to bring the whites down, bring up the highlights a little bit, bring down the shadows, bring up the blacks, and midpoint in the middle. Something like that. Move over to the color. And I'm going to bring the vibrance up to 45, saturation down to negative 20. And then go to mix up on the right. And this is the most effective way to get brown and teal look. So yeah, let's starting in the red color. Bring the saturation down to negative 15 and the luminance down to negative 10. Move over to the orange, bring up the hue to 10, then the saturation down to negative 30 also the luminance to negative 30 and move over to the yellow bring the hue down to negative 45 saturation down to negative 51 and the luminance down to negative 15 move over to the green bring the hue down to negative 75 so the green look like autumn bring the saturation down to negative 35 luminance down to negative 49 and then move over to the aquatones, bring the saturation down to negative 40, and luminance down to negative 11. Move over to the blue, bring the hue down to negative 26, saturation down to negative 40, and luminance down to negative 30. And the violet and magenta, bring the saturation down to all negative 100. That's looking pretty good. And now click done. This is before and after. And then we are going to go to effects. I want to bring the clarity to 5 and the dehesh up to 10. Moving on to the split tone. If you see on this photo, we can see that it uses a nice brownies and it highlights. So we are going to bring the hue up to around 46 somewhere the orange. And we are going to bring the saturation of that to around 10. And then move over to the shadow. We are going to find a nice blue range over here, might be somewhere in the 215. And then we are just going to bring the saturation down a little bit to around 5. Something like that. And click done. And let's try to copy this preset to another photo. I think we have done a pretty good job here. So as you can see, it is kind of similar, similar look, brown and teal filter. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did like this video, please leave a like. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next video.